all right in this video i'm going to create traffic light controller um well in the previous video i created spawn points and the waypoints if you haven't seen that vi that video i suggest you go back and watch watch it before coming to this so let's get started So what I want to do is I I want to create a traffic light for each of the road lane. So to do that you go to game object uh, easy traffic system volume two and go to add traffic lights. Add traffic lights. Click on that. Yeah, this should add uh, a traffic light parent for you. It automatically generates a traffic uh, light game object for you. As you can see, we have we have the, the three lights: the red, the yellow, and the green. So what I'm going to and we also have a collider. This, the collider serves as this uh, sensor, the sensor for the traffic uh, light. Once an AI gets to this uh, inside this collider, it checks to see what light is actually active, whether it's the red, yellow, or the green. So the next thing I want to do is that I want to open up my uh, traffic traffic print clone and then select this traffic lights game object and then uh, I'm gonna drag this I'm gonna drag this and drop this I'm gonna drag and place this on this lane. You can see, I'll drag and place and drop this. Drag and place rather. Make sure you drag and place the collider to fit your road lane. If the road is uh, a bit too wide, you can select the collider. You can uh, open up the track light game object, select the collider, and then rescale it. You can rescale to whatever value you want. Just make sure it's, uh, it fits the road lane very well. So now we have um, a single traffic light for this lane. So I want to duplicate this traffic light game object and place one right here. Also place one right on this lane. I also place another on this lane. But before I start to duplicate and place, you have to take note that each traffic light is assigned to a traffic manager. So this traffic light that was already automatically created has a traffic manager. And the traffic manager is located under the control point. So uh, open up the control point to see the traffic manager in there. Uh, the, traffic, the traffic manager has a component type of traffic manager. And uh, as you can see, it has the traffic lights list. And there's a list of traffic lights in it. Of which that list is our traffic lights. Our traffic light collider. Yeah. So uh, it's then when, what next thing you want to do is you want to duplicate this track light collider you want to drag drag it all the way to this position and then change the rotation make sure it's facing the right direction place that make sure it's placed right once you are comfortable with the position, you can rename your duplicated copy to traffic light one, and then come to traffic manager and also duplicate it. So once you've duplicated the traffic manager, you can rename traffic manager to traffic manager one, and then you drag the newly created traffic lights into the, the traffic light list. So you can see there, traffic light one. So now we have two traffic managers. We have two traffic managers 
I have two traffic lights. And after you, after that, you go to your control point. Select the control point, and then drag your new traffic manager into the manager list over there. All right. So we have now we have two we have two traffic uh, controllers. So we are going for the third one. We do the same thing for the third one. Select that and duplicate it. Then get that into position. So we say by 180 here. Good. I'm comfortable with this, with the position now. So I renamed this to traffic lights two. And then I'll select, I'll select my traffic manager once more and duplicate it. And then I'll call this traffic manager 2. And I'll drag and drop my traffic my traffic lights into this the traffic lights over there. Then select the control points and then drag the traffic manager into the manager list. So now we have three. We are successfully creating three traffic lights controller so for the final traffic light I'm, usually, I'm going to do the same thing again I'm going to duplicate my traffic light and then I'm going to re re rename this traffic light 3 and then I'll duplicate my traffic manager and name this uh, traffic manager 3 and uh, I drag my traffic light to nope sorry I drag my traffic light 3 to traffic manager 3 and then I place the traffic light 3 in the right position also I rotate it in the right direction so in this case I think it's 90 negative 90 and then finally I select my control point and I drag that traffic manager into it control point over there. So now we have uh, actually set up the traffic light controller for this for this junction. For this junction only. So um next next I'm going to uh, test this. I'm gonna test this. So let's test it. Right into the same view. Look closely, you watch that uh, this one is showing, is showing green, meaning go. Meaning, uh, vehicles coming from this lane well, can actually move through, but vehicles on that lane would have to stop because the traffic light says, says so. Once the sensor collides. With uh, the traffic lights collide, uh, collider, it then checks what information that traffic light is sending. This is sending stop, so meaning all the vehicles coming from this lane are they're going to stop, and also the vehicles coming from this lane too, they have to stop and that lane too. That, that has actually turned to that has actually turned to red and this is actually showing green so focus on this lane is actually good they are actually going to move if there was any so um, now that we have a working traffic light for this for this lane um, I'm going to duplicate our traffic light parents game object and I'm going to drag this I'm going to drag this all the way to the next junction right here I'm 
make sure that that is placed right. Yeah, make sure you place place it right. Make sure it's facing the right direction. So um, the next thing I want to do now is I want to add a traffic light model. As a traffic light, a traffic light model to to this uh, traffic light control that we just created now. So uh, by default, I have. Traffic light model here. You can uh, you can use your own traffic light model. It's not compulsory that you use this one. So basically, you have you should already have your traffic light model. In this case, I'll be using this ugly one right here. So uh, what I want to do is I want to. See Select all these lights here. Yeah. So to do that, I'm going to go to traffic light zero, and then I'm going to select the red light, the yellow light. I'm going to select all these lights, and then I'm going to drag them to fit to fit my uh, traffic light model. Put that in place. So once I'm comfortable, I'm comfortable with the uh, with the position. I can drag uh, drag my traffic light model and child it and child it to the traffic the traffic light controller. Here. So basically, now a this model is a child of uh, this traffic light controller right here. And then the next thing I want to do is that I don't I wouldn't like the the light light game object to penetrate to penetrate through the through the game object you can see I'm seeing through it I can see the lights through it so to fix that to fix that uh, select the box right here select this box right here and then add the box collider to it add the box collider to it that should make it not visible. So I'm going to do that to the rest of the. I'm going to do that to the rest of the um, traffic light controller. So I'm going to drag another traffic light model to the same here, and I'm going to. Select traffic light one. And I'm going to select all the lights in traffic light one. And I'm going to drag those lights and place them in the right position. Now select uh, the box and add a box for like that bit. So uh, to prevent the see-through effect you get from the flare. Then I'm going to select uh, this traffic light model and I'm going to drag that and child it to the traffic light one collider. The traffic light one traffic controller by so next we have we now have two traffic light controller with actual traffic light model attached to it. The next 
one is a uh, this one, this guy right here. So I'm gonna drag another drag flight model into the scene and I'm going to rotate this by um, negative 90. Negative 90, and I'm going to place that where I want to be. And uh, as usual, I'll select the traffic light controller 2. That's traffic light 2. And then I'll select all the lights. So make sure they are, they are placed in the right position. Okay, that's good. Um, next, oh, no, no, wait. All right. So then, I'll, next, I'll select the box and then add a, a box collider. Then I'll drag the whole traffic model thing into my traffic light two controller. Right, that's traffic light two. Yeah. Traffic light controller. And then and finally, for the last one which is traffic light 3 I'm going to drag another oh, sorry I'm going to drag another traffic light model into the scene and I'm going to set this to position to zero and then place all my lights Game of my light game objects in right position. Like so. Alright. Then select the box right there and then add a box collider to it. Finally, drag the traffic light model to the child is to the traffic light controller 3. So now you have the traffic light controller with uh, the tra uh, traffic light models in your game scene. So if you want to do the same thing to the other the other junction right there, so I'm going to delete the one I I duplicated before and then I'm going to duplicate this again this time with the traffic light models and I'm going to drag these guys all the way to the next junction right there okay I'm going to place that in the right position and then I'm going to I'm going to actually test this again so press play Wait for the magic to happen. So go right in the same the same view and then so yeah. Once they get to that point they stop. As far as you showing red. And this guy is showing green, so anyone anyone that gets to that point, anyone that gets to the Traffic light that shows green actually goes through green, and the one showing red is stop. So if you if you want a faster uh, a faster tra traffic transition, like a faster traffic. Uh, transition you have to go to select the traffic light controller and then 
go to the control point and then you can you can uh, reduce the cool down time and the slow down time yeah and then also take note if you if you if you don't want your your corners or your junctions to actually use the traffic lights you can actually select the traffic light controller and then disable the use lights use lights option if you disable this then you don't have to use the red light the green light the yellow light game object you don't need them you just only the only thing you, you need will be the, the colliders So for junctions that don't require a traffic light, I suggest place the traffic light controller there and then disable the use light option right there. So you don't have you don't have to specify the red light, green light, and yellow light in objects. Just use the colliders, and the colliders are not, are not visible in gameplay. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, in the next video, I uh, will start to talk about the humanoid characterizes the pedestrians, how to set up the pedestrians. We'll talk about that in the next video. So, I'll see you in the next video.